Hello dear lovely souls, welcome back to my channel. Um, this month is quite pivotal. It's the month that is filled with a bunch of events starting from 1st of August, but we are already in 3rd. So we have so many events happening, meaning that this month is going to transform people's lives with like before and after, but mostly with the vibes of something from the past, okay? It's very important to know, apart from having Mercury retrograde that we have quite often throughout the year, we have one of the most important aspects that will happen now, that will happen in December, and then it's going to also happen in spring 2025. So you should remember whatever is going to happen in this month is going to continue, upgrade, regrade, I don't know, change a lot in the next year and finalize it later. But whatever happens in this month is everything that was going on for you from your past. So it's not something like completely new. It's more of a kind of like a reset, a relaunch, redoing something and fixing things because we have a lot of retrograde planets. But yeah, this month is quite important in my opinion, especially for those people who think who say like, oh, I don't have major changes or major things happening in my life yet, yet. That's the word, yet. But yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, I am Soleil. I make astrology videos and I am also running Astro Academy uh, Life with my students. We are officially kind of like done with module one, uh, which was natal chart reader and transformer. So I'm very, very excited for my students to be already like able to make uh, astrology readings to help to transform people's lives because from next week we're moving to our module two of vocational astrology, how to make money. Okay, so this is very exciting for those who want to like, for those who know the basics of astrology, they know everything about houses, aspects, signs and etc. If you want to join for module two, three and ongoing, you can check the links down below. For those who want to purchase already pre-recorded module one videos, lectures with i think i have more than more than 600 slides just for module one so if you want to study astrology on your own but with my help like in terms of chat you can message me and ask me questions the the module one for natal chart readers and transformers is already out so you can just start immediately whenever you want from whatever location whenever uh doesn't matter how many time you're gonna how much time you're gonna spend because you're gonna have more than 18 lectures um of like with videos and slides that you can watch, listen, read, and etc. So this is very exciting. And obviously, um, I have astro astrology reading sessions, so you can hit me up. But this month is going to be not only transformative for people, but it's also going to kind of, you're gonna see the transformation and changes and influences because things gonna happen in the world major global things so since i'm not into politics that much but i'm into trading so i still follow the geopolitics astrology but i don't focus on the political side i focus more on the trading side i can say if you were wondering when is the best time to buy crypto i don't i'm not good with other stocks only crypto world because guess what a bitcoin is a capricorn sun leo rising and has stuff in aries so I am Bitcoin. <laughs> Whatever happens with Bitcoin, I can feel it. Whatever I go through, I can see it in the chart of Bitcoin. So if you were wondering when is the best time to not miss out on this, I think whatever cycle we are in, um, in Halloween in uh, Bitcoin cycles, I think it's the third one or the fourth one. This is the month where you should wait for the prices to drop to buy, to not miss on this train so do that um, because uh, <clears throat> according to my research we are heading towards a recession Ding! it's uh confirmed by astrological aspects and also confirmed by uh technical analysis person that i follow and i've been following them for for a long time and all the numbers on all the analysis they make is always on point so 
if you were curious about trading and crypto world this is the month to look out for especially from 1st of august we had venus squaring uranus and uranus is also like crypto world and venus is cash 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 money so you can see like the the market is dropping i know nobody asked me for this uh, about trading topics but there are people who are asking me nowadays so this is for you guys and one thing I'm gonna mention in the beginning before I move into each not one thing two things two aspects that I'm gonna talk about in the beginning before I move to each sign so make sure you're watching the beginning is going to be mercury retrograde and the aspect that I was talking about Jupiter squaring Saturn okay it's a big event the exact aspect is around 19th of august but it's already beginning if you open the chart you will see the red line heading from jupiter to saturn so it's already there so quite an important month to resolve and understand what has to be changed what you were doing wrong in the past how you can improve it are you really sure that you want to do specific thing and from other astrologers that I've observed because I started uh, making astrological forecasts in 2021 end of 2021 and obviously I was following all the transits before that um, what we know is from 2020 we had Jupiter and Saturn conjunction so whatever you began in December of 2020 this month you're gonna kind of feel like you're going back to that thing that you started in 2020 December and you're going to have a retest, which I can confirm is happening with me at the moment. So depending on your rising sign, depending on where Jupiter and Saturn are positioned in your transit astrology, this is going to play out obviously for different people differently. But the common theme is that something from four years ago right now is going to be retested to see if you actually want it, if you are in the right path so it's going to give a lot of uh, you know because jupiter is about like yay we can do this let's go like let's rock this and sam is like hold on a second let's um see what we're lacking can we do this is it realistic or not can you do it are you sure you can so it's like you have this period of like am i good enough or am i not can i do this or can i not maybe I should give up. So this is the period to test you and see if you are actually determined to do something. But uh, if you're going through your Saturn return, stay strong. Okay, I just crossed, not me, Saturn just crossed my Saturn two times in this four month. <laughs> it, ha it has been tough and these topics are related to whatever happened in 2020 December. So yeah, if you're also like born with saturn in pisces around 18 19 degrees you are going through your saturn return so this period is going to be kind of i think you can handle it if you already pass through your saturn return during this period uh now you will have one more push but with the support of jupiter so it's going to be kind of cool for you to have some kind of support uh and blessing from jupiter but yeah um, try to see and observe what it, what did you start, what kind of ambition did you have in uh, December 2020 and confirm if it's playing out for you now, those topics. It cannot be necessarily exactly the same thing, but like the topics around that period are resurfacing right now. And all of that is happening while Mercury is going retrograde so mercury is a going retrograde from 5th 6th of august so today's third sorry for the delay going through my mercury through my saturn uh, return and my mercury mercury is passing me so <laughs> yeah quite a uh, tough time for me so i'm smiling it means i generated a lot of energy to make these videos so the thing is what i've noticed whenever i make my youtube videos i have to have um clean cleansing session and uh, isolation session to generate energy to give it to you guys because when i do it when i'm drained it's not going well when i'm drained i attract drained people who flood my uh, videos with really bad comments so 
yeah i'm talking about last video and this time i'm smiling so i hope we're gonna have positive people like-minded people so let's go with that so mercury is gonna go retrograde uh in virgo so all the virgo people or all the gemini people whatever you have in gemini or virgo it means you're kind of mercurian person so you are already feeling the effects of mercury your technology is glitching your speech is glitching people are not understanding you you cannot verbally speak it's because of mercury retrograde because um even if it goes retrograde um on 5th of august it already had its shadow period so during the shadow period gemini's and mercury's are feeling this but um it's gonna be going backwards in virgo until 15th of august and then it's gonna go back to leo so we're gonna have like two different um fields of your life reactivated so whatever you were doing around july and june kind of that period you're kind of going back to that really depends on who you are but there are some specific rules with mercury retrograde that you have to follow because i always receive comments can i do surgery during mercury retrograde can i travel to new locations no nah. no nah. can i start something new no nah. but but okay let's see how it goes if it's not mandatory and urgent do not start anything new do not make any drastic changes to your health to your body do not make any big big moves or big purchases big decisions during this period i repeat this is very important i've seen people going and doing surgery during mercury retrograde it never turns out to be good so if you have an opportunity to um, extend the deadline like the day for the surgery or the day for like removing your teeth do that do not do big things during mercury retrograde and uh, even with documents with initiating new projects especially like if you want to start a new business or you want to apply for a new job or new university new degree you might uh, either not get accepted not get whatever you want or it can mean that maybe if you try something that you have already done it's gonna work out so everything that is new everything that has to do with drastic changes to your body to your life um no do not do not i repeat do not do that however if um so yeah it also involves like traveling to new places don't do it but if you do it make sure you do you double triple quadruple check okay and um now what you can do during this period this is the period where everything that you can buy with a sale if there's a big sale on something that you always wanted to buy buy during when there's like a big sale not 10 percent, like 50 70 percent it's a good idea to buy uh things that are on big sale buy hand secondhand clothes or secondhand technology or etc do not buy new technology um it's also a good time to sell something that you have so if you have something and you couldn't sell it this is the perfect time to like sell it and uh, get rid of it so that you can do you can travel to locations to places that you have already been to now this is perfect time to do a health checkup just a health checkup not because you like there is something happening it's more like oh let me just do a health checkup because during mercury retrograde if you do the health checkup the doctors might find uh if if you have something they might find the things that were never discovered before but they were there which means if you are going to do something like a real health checkup that you are really like let's say you have some kind of health problem and you think oh i need to go and check doctors might not be able to find it so kind of be like um aware of like are you doing just a health checkup to just see what's going on with you or you have to do it you got the point right uh, okay so that you're gonna do the next thing you can also do is during this period to um retake exams i have eight exams to retake if you remember i made a video in uh, january the, the pluto i think and you could see me almost passing out in that video 
that's the period where I had corona, I had back uh, injury, I was depressed and I kind of missed my exams. I didn't go to exams, I didn't go to lecture, so I have to retake eight. <clears throat> yeah, retaking exams, retaking uh, lectures and classes on driving, especially getting your license or applying for, let's say, TOEFL exams, SATs, IELTS exams, like redoing it is going to be way beneficial whereas if you start something new so in this case we also have like taking the courses that you started before and you didn't complete okay so let's say uh, maybe two years ago you started learning french and you never completed this is good time to restart redo it because you will be able to remember everything that you've already done Mm, yum, yum, yum. what else we can say during this period uh if you have lost something before the mercury retrograde this is the period where you will be able to find so if you lost your document this is the perfect time that all of a sudden just appears out of nowhere uh yeah i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm gonna find the speaker because i lost a, a huge black speaker in this room literally here like in this location i don't know where it is maybe it will resurface but yeah if you lose something during mercury retrograde forget about it just you know that you're gonna find it after the retrograde is over around 28th 27th of august so um, yeah uh, let me see if i miss anything else so obviously during mercury retro retrograde depending which house it enters or what houses it's responsible for you're gonna have exes coming back people from the past but you will notice that you are having more communication more calls more interaction with people from the past so yeah i think that was kind of uh, something everyone has to know about mercury retrograde because um i receive comments and i'm like i already said that i said no no do not make that surgery do not remove your teeth do not remove that appendix don't touch this body during mercury retrograde don't touch your hair during mercury retrograde if it's like completely going blonde or going black or whatever like no don't do it but like retouching yes uh, i will retouch actually after the new moon so let me see if i missed anything else but yeah visiting old places traveling to places that you've been to before so just um this is the perfect time for redoing restarting relaunching reanalyzing everything that has to do with re do that especially if you uh, had some kind of miscommunication or you had a fight with someone this is the period where you can resolve this situation but uh, yeah something that you have to kind of listen to also it's perfect time to if you ever studied astrology on your own before this is the time that you can start studying it again it goes with any other courses that i'm talking about like anything that you ever started before but then something happened maybe you didn't get enough or you didn't finish this is the time that you can start again and it will be more beneficial whereas it's if it's something completely new to you then i don't think it's gonna uh work well because you will have to do it again and again all the mercury retrogrades you will have to go back to whatever you started doing mercury retrograde so with that we can start with signs and i will need my laptop because we have so many actually we have so many aspects during this month so i'm not sure how i'm gonna be able to give all of that information to you to get like in-depth in-depth reading with me you can always reach out to me we will be able to dive into any specific topic you're interested in but here we're gonna go in general okay and important to know that if you let's say if you don't want to purchase a course uh, a, 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 a consultation and you just want to do your own chart i'll give you a tip okay so that you don't have to spend money on a real consulting but what you can do you need to make sure that you know your rising sign degree you need to make sure you know what is in your first house what sign is in your what sign mostly occupies your first house but it really depends if you're placidus if you're using placidus you yeah it's kind of complicated but make sure that you are checking with your rising sign to see uh how things play out more cor like accurate like it's gonna be more accurate if you watch your rising sign so let's begin it's 
so hot but okay let's go so first things first we already missed venus square uranus that has been happening from uh second from first second of august until like today and tomorrow so we can't forget about it it's perfect time to notice how the market is dipping it's going down but yeah wait a minute let me show you my course so, yeah why why not let's show off okay so this is the course uh birth chart reader and transformer i just want to show you how many lectures are there so if you look we i don't know if you can see it but like around 18 lectures so this is for 11th house and you have like the timestamps and you have pdf and then you have video okay so let me show you so when you are studying astrology you have like the curriculum you have all the lectures then you have the lecture with the video and slides so look at this look at this okay you have all the explanation and all the description and yeah you can do this on your own um, if you want to start with uh, basic astrology, then you can do that. But if you want to continue with different modules, you can also um, start taking like module two, vocational astrology and etc. You can find all the information on my website. So let's go. Dear Pisces, welcome. Uh, make sure that you're checking your rising sign, your moon sign and your sun sign for more accurate reading. So let's begin. First things first, let me see. Where is this? La, la. Okay, we will have a new moon in Leo um, tomorrow, 4th of August. And for you, my dear Pisces, where is Leo for you? Yeah. So for you, this new moon is happening in your sixth house. And sixth house is uh, dealing with everything to do with your health, with your routine, and with employment and pets. So new moon means new beginning, some kind of new initiations. So if you were thinking about, I don't know, getting a new job, applying for some kind of new position, with this new moon tomorrow in Leo, you're going to have more opportunities to start. But mind you, because it's Mercury retrograde, and I talked about Mercury retrograde in the beginning uh, of this video, like literally, like if you can scroll back. The best idea I would give is if you really want to get a job, then it's better to go for something that you have already done before either the company that you worked with before or either something that you have already done and you have awareness of what it is um, and if you obviously have something in leo this new moon is going to be more effective and you're gonna feel it more compared to if it wasn't all right so on 5th of august venus is going to virgo okay and Mercury, Mer Mercury is already in Virgo. Uh, and the thing is, Mercury is going to go retrograde on 5th of August in your 7th house. And Venus is entering your 7th house. So here what's happening uh, in um, for my observations that it, it will feel like you are finally having some kind of new relationship with someone, but then all of a sudden some kind of ex is coming back. So this is the period where you will have a lot of exes coming back and maybe you will get back to your exes. However, if you start new relationships with someone new during this period, you can just forget about the long-term relationship here. It's going to be mostly like a fling. And trust me on this one, I've tested this, it really works. Whenever someone comes into your life with all of these aspects happening in your seventh life, seventh life, seventh house, this always talks about someone new coming into your life and you're like already like imagining and having plans and goals. But it can be just a fling when the Mercury uh, retrograde ends. It's going to be finito. 
but yeah apart from dates and falling in love situation you also have opportunities for um having like a business partner or if you are having your own business but if you're working with clients this is the period where you're gonna have loyal customers coming back your clients from like the ones that you already have those kind of clients are going to be coming back and if you are having some kind of social media during this period your your you kind of will get more attention and you will become kind of more famous okay and um, let's let's move on so so mercury goes retrograde from 5th of august okay in virgo in your seventh house and it really depends how much of virgo you have in your seventh house yeah for that like it's kind of specific reading but whatever it's gonna it's gonna go retrograde in virgo until 15th of august and then from 15th of august it's gonna go back to leo so it's gonna go to your sixth house so it's gonna go backwards even like a house before so it's gonna shift your field of life attention your attention is gonna go to your health to your promotions to your job so maybe if you were let's say because in the beginning we had a new moon in uh, leo if in the beginning of the month you start applying for jobs then probably after 15th is that's when you're gonna receive opportunities or results um, and during this period uh from 15th of august until 28th of august when mercury is retrograde in uh, leo this is the perfect time to, as I said, apply for old positions or apply to the previous job that you worked in before. But also it's good time to do a health checkup. So if you were wondering, oh, I don't feel good somewhere, during this period is good time to kind of go and check. Even if it's something minute, you're like, oh, I have pain around this area. Let me just go do a checkup. I know I wouldn't do that myself, but it's a suggestion from Mercury Retrograde. Now let's move on um around 15th of august we have so many events actually happening uh so let me kind of like dive into this one a little bit so we have venus squaring mars and jupiter mars and jupiter are conjunct in gemini in your fourth house and this venus is also opposing saturn that is in your first house so here you're having an opposition from your partner towards you and it's affecting your living situation your parents and your home so all of the tension whatever situation is happening with you and somebody else is affecting your living circumstances and your parents or your family or your home so this is uh, the period where you kind of might have either arguments or seeing some kind of specific situation that you didn't notice before but the thing is this square of jupiter with saturn that is already starting now it's gonna get stronger around 15th and 16th 15th 16th of august so what i want you to do is go back to 2020 december and see what did you initiate during that period that is kind of resurfacing now or something that is bothering you right now from 2020? What did you do? Let me know in comments, but let me tell you what it is affecting for you this time. This square from Jupiter to Saturn for you is happening from your first house to your fourth house. So from fourth house to your first house and this is talking about some kind of immigration situation in my opinion for some of you it can be topics related to your parents or to someone that you call mother so a mother figure um maybe during 2020 or let's forget about 2020 but like during this period you will be going back to topics that have to do with your living situation with your home country and your parents so maybe something started or happened in 2020 now it's kind of resurfacing but uh in my opinion this this year is quite big for pisces in general so 
this is very it, because it's happening in cardinal signs so it's going to be very big shift for you where you will have this like in your calendar and 20 years later you'll be like in 2024 august this thing happened to me and it is related to your living place your nationality your uh mother and also it can talk about um like as i said like immigration that has to do with change of your location change of your status in terms of maybe some of you are applying for immigration uh, for citizenship in another country uh, or some of you during this period might be going back to idea of becoming a parent because fourth house is, is also the house of parenthood maybe during this period some of you will really go back to topics and discussions that have to do around becoming a parent and in this case the venus squaring your fourth house and opposing your first house can be talking about you either finding a partner that can help to become your family so considering to become a, a couple that turns into a family to have kids i think this is the way that i can interpret this aspect on 19th of August, we will have a full moon in Aquarius and it is happening for you in your 12th house. So 12th house is uh, apart from spirituality, um, isolation, relaxing and retreats. It's also the house of immigration. So again, if someone was thinking about uh, doing some kind of immigration process, this is the period where you will have results or conclusion. But I can also say that during this period, maybe some of you will find um job opportunities to work either remotely or to work abroad or go somewhere and work from somewhere far but you won't be able to tell other people okay now all of this square of jupiter and saturn is happening the whole month but around 24th of august it feels like it's gonna get better because around around okay two days before two days after around 24th of august we will have venus trining with pluto and then you have uranus opposing uh neptune no it's not gonna oppose neptune it's in taurus no venus trining pluto uh and uranus and it's gonna oppose neptune and neptune is sextiling uranus pluto uranus uh is trining pluto so yeah kind of a very interesting day on its own 24th of august but i will just tell you that you're gonna have some kind of support that will come to you through your friendships through some kind of group and through your partner so whatever that will be kind of a little bit tense in the middle of august is going to be uh, you will feel kind of a relief during 24th of August and the help is coming from friend groups and your partner but I can also say for those who have social media and their money depends on the amount of people that interact with them or see them the more exposure you have during this period 24th of August you're gonna have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of exposure so let's say if you upload a video around this period you're gonna have a lot of use let's say so in the end of the month 29th of august venus is going to enter libra it's going to go to your eighth house then it's going to be september topic but mostly it's going to affect you in a financial world so i think during this period you will find opportunities to make more money and yeah this is what we have for you in august I hope it was helpful make sure to check your other signs and um, if you're interested in studying astrology the natal chart reader module the basics of astrology with transformation is already out so you can already purchase it it has around 20 lectures 20 videos with over uh, over 500 600 slides that you can read on your own check and analyze and ask me questions whenever you want you can purchase that but if you already know astrology well uh, you can uh, join to module two three four and etc we have 11 modules that have to do with vocational astrology compatibility and etc 
yeah and obviously if you want to have a reading you can always reach out to me we're moving on to aquarius hello dear aquarius welcome to my channel please make sure you're checking your rising sign your sun sign and your moon sign and let's get into this um first of all this is leo season it's opposite to aquarius season so i would um uh, expect some Aquariuses to have major changes in their life because you have so much opposition so much happening in your life so let me know how it is going because first of all we're gonna start with a new moon in Leo that is happening on 4th of August which is tomorrow and it is happening for you in your seven house okay so new beginnings new opportunities to do with either love partners business partners clients contracts and etc but mind you we are having mercury retrograde the next day uh in virgo and it's gonna go back to leo again around 15th of august so i would say for you it's new be it's new beginnings with people from the past Okay, so you will start noticing that you're going to start some, some kind of new projects or old projects, but you're going to begin it with people from the past with this uh, new moon. Um, and Venus is actually leaving your seventh house. It's going to Virgo to your eighth house. So majority of your focus in August is going to be on the financial side of things, on um, intimacy and um, your common resources with your partner and mercury is gonna go retrograde the same day on 5th of august so i believe maybe during this period you're gonna start receiving some kind of financial benefit some kind of financial offers but kind of from the past okay everything that i'm gonna be saying in this video is always going to be about past nothing new if it's new it's related to something from the past past um here we also have eighth house of um secrets coming out the things that you didn't know about are going to resurface so you'll be like oh god i didn't know that this was happening in my life now i know and this situation is trashy so this trash is gonna go where it belongs whatever situation it is it's related to something that has to leave leave your life so kind of see what it is exactly um if you took some kind of loan if you borrowed money or maybe you gave money to somebody else you can expect the money to be returned either by you or the other person is returning money to you but also i can say like intimacy and some kind of affairs with your love partners from the past especially from 15th of august mercury is gonna go back to your uh seventh house so expect calls and offers from your exes so your ex-partners during this period gonna reach out to be like hey yo what's up what's up my aquarius i miss you do you want to get back and you'll be like sure <laughs> but again it's mercury retrograde so if you really wanted to be with this person this is the period where you can kind of like resolve all the situations and understand what went wrong how we can improve it how we can move forward with this relationship okay um right and this mercury retrograde is until 28th of august so until 28th of august apart from love partners you might expect uh offers or orders from your clients like loyal clients from the past are going to be coming back to you so and or maybe some kind of contract some kind of things are going to be surfacing back into your life now mm -hmm. around 15th of august we have this very interesting situation happening we have venus is going to square it's gonna like you're gonna have a red triangle if you look at the chart but venus is going to square jupiter and mars they are conjunct and then it's going to oppose saturn and for you all of this is happening in the financial field that is related to your business if you have a business 
and to your kids so for those who have kids to me it looks like maybe there will be some kind of request um that is related to finances of your kids maybe it's uh it has to do with um kindergarten payment or school payment or some kind of expenses that are related to your kids are going to brought out here and i don't know how you're gonna react to this but this is what it might bother you but it's the period where you kind of uh, will have you know a new reflection and understanding of what did you do wrong in the past perhaps and for some of you, if you don't have kids, this is talking about your business because fifth house is the house of hobbies that you monetize into making money. So like the business and it has to do with finances. Um, okay, like to me, from my observation of doing astrology for years, what I've noticed that the negative aspects, the squares, not always necessarily are negative especially if you have like a stellium in your chart you might actually feel recharged during this period to pursue your goals and your dreams because it's, it might um, like affect you financially so for example you will find out that if you follow your uh, something that you love if you follow your hobbies if you follow your heart you can make good money because you have activation of your second house and the eighth house that is related to either kids or your business or having fun. So other interpretation can be that maybe during this period, you're gonna like uh, start going to restaurants, gambling and spending money. Wow, this, this is, I can't confirm, okay? I'll confirm this to you. I'm uh, Aquarius uh, moon and my Venus is also in Aquarius, so, during this period, actually, when the, uh, the, 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 the the market will crash, I'm planning to trade, okay? So trading means like, oh, you're having some kind of gamble, which is fifth house. You're gambling with making money. So second house, your own money. And then eighth house is the trading. So to me, I don't care. Uh, I'm like, I've been waiting for this opportunity to finally buy some crypto and make money because I'm like broke yeah from this month i'm no longer receiving scholarships so yeah i need to start making money somehow so that's one one way a second way it means that maybe if i start actually following my love and passion for let's say beauty for youtube this is another way i can make money but i, I can clearly tell you the gambling part is on for me i don't have kids so my situation is, has to do with me being the kid so i am the kid and i have to support myself so <laughs> the tr this red triangle is happening yeah so it's it can be either good or it can be bad but you never know because you have to gamble sometimes I'm not sure if it was like a good advice, but uh, <laughs> let's see. Now, the thing is, whatever I was just telling you about, um, it was kind of very much highlighted in terms of finances. But the thing is, let me tell you this. Go back and check 2020 in December. If you did something major in December of 2020 <sighs> related to your finances and your dreams and your goals, I think you're going back to that. So whatever happened um, in 2020 December related to your values, to your talents, to your skills and creativity, this is the period where you are kind of, that those topics are resurfacing and kind of uh, challenging you to either choose what you love to make money or not so it's like that this period where you will have like oh am i good enough to do this on my own am i good enough so mind you aquarius sign in general is responsible for freelance so if some of you were wondering if i should go to freelance yeah because that's where your soul belongs to because with jupiter being in freaking fifth house for you it's talking about doing what your heart wants, okay? For some of you, it can be things that bring you joy and happiness and fun and entertainment. 
which is uh, have to do with hobbies and business. For some of you, it can be about kids. For some of you, it can be about love. So these topics from 2020 are kind of research, or maybe like the vibe itself is resurfacing and kind of like challenging you, giving you this, um, what is it called? When you're like not sure, like, oh, am I going to make money if I follow my heart or not? So a lot of self-doubt when it comes to your talents and your skills. If you are able to monetize what you actually love doing. Okay. So yeah, this, this whole thing is actually playing out already now, but like a strong aspect is happening around 15th, 16th of August. And the thing is on 19th of August, with all of this happening, we have a full moon in Aquarius. So it's happening in your sign. So you're going to have some kind of resolution, some kind of answers, some kind of conclusion, some kind of understanding, some kind of like, oh, you'll a moment like now I understand what I have to do, where I'm going to go, something to do with your, um, your physical body, something just have to do about you is going to be like highlighted yeah and then especially around 24th of august we're gonna have this one is a little bit interesting so it can be either in your first house or it can be in um your 12th house so you should see where is your zero degree aquarius because you're gonna have venus trining pluto and venus is going to be in last degrees of virgo so this is kind of like for you, it can either be in 8th house with a 12th house trine, or it can be the trine from ninth house to the 1st house. So you should see how it's playing out for you because I don't know where, where is your 1st house. So assuming, assuming that your 0 degree Aquarius is in the 12th house, and 20 something degree like last degrees of virgo are in your eighth house this is like a trine so a trine to all of the aspects that i was telling you about uh, is going to bring some kind of financial gain i think some kind of financial gain from uh, maybe doing something behind the scenes without telling anyone maybe there's some kind of scheme you want to do some kind of way that you want to increase your capital and you don't want to tell anyone what it is especially it goes back to the beginning of this year so around january and february whatever you did that topic is going to be activated and it is activation in financial world for you so let me know how it is playing out but if we're assuming maybe the ninth house and the twelfth house so this is immigration topics or education topics or traveling abroad topics but yeah let me know what it is uh yeah so yeah and then in the end of the month venus is changing the sign to libra but we're going to talk about it in september so again if you're interested in studying astrology you can already purchase already pre-recorded natal chart reader and transformer course it's already done you can uh order the whole thing now and you can watch it whenever you want but if you already you're sure that you know the basics of astrology you can join for vocational astrology compatibility astrology kids astrology and etc transits and etc um you can do that too and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one consultation with me i'd be happy to work with you and we're moving on to capricorns hello dear capricorns welcome back to my channel we're finally kind of feeling alive do we or we don't i'm telling you i'm stellium stellium capricorn uh the past month has been bombarding me okay please let me know who are you what kind of capricorn you are are you the sun are you the rising are you the moon very interesting to know because i don't i don't get a lot of comments from capricorns even though like this channel is ran by a uh, capricorn stellium excuse me where are you my capricorn fellas let me know 
<laughs> I, I will be so interested because I don't usually receive comments from Capricorn, so I have no clue. But like, I had a client and she's literally born two days after me. Okay, like you can see so many similar traits and situations in our lives that are similar but then there's like a slight difference that has to do with the moon two days later is a different moon so yeah please, please let me know who are you <laughs> what kind of capricorn you are but um let's see let's see what do we have for this month for capricorns mm -hmm. make sure that you're checking your rising sign your sun sign and your moon sign but if you're a stellium capricorn like me uh, then you this can relate to you as well but from my experience it's mostly the rising sign that gives like accurate resonation let's go first things first we have a new moon in leo tomorrow and where is that new moon happening for you guys it's happening in the eighth house of finance yes and money this this is kind of like uh for me it's a little bit sad situation because eighth house is responsible for scholarships for grants i'm gonna go <laughs> for other people's money in your life and actually in august my money is finishing like the the scholarship it's it's the last month that i'm gonna receive my scholarship so from now on i have to either find a job or take astrology more seriously do something okay but yeah which means with this new moon now the mind is like okay now we need to figure out where we're gonna get money to survive for upcoming months so for some of you it can be either like you're ending some kind of financial cycle and you're entering the new cycle but like the new beginnings when it comes when it comes to finances okay um that's one two it can be like new beginnings with complete cleansing out complete removing trash from your life literally trash can be clothing uh it can be situations it can be people it's like all going out so you're like starting fresh fully transformed because eight house is the house of crises it's about transformations all the things that kind of turn you from a cocoon to a butterfly if if that's correct so yeah that's the type of period please let me know i know capricorns are watching but they don't leave comments let me know let's see let's see let's see let's move on so uh next on the 5th of august quite eventful day on its own 5th of august virgo is a virgo venus is entering virgo to your ninth house i know i don't want this actually for me but maybe it's good for you so on 5th of august uh venus is entering the ninth house and a ninth house has to do with higher education so if i bring my example i'm considering to do phd because i'm graduating from masters in hopefully hopefully in september but also ninth house is also the house of exams and mercury is already there okay mercury is already in the ninth house and it is gonna go retrograde the same day it's gonna go back and guess what i'm having eight exams to retake and the ninth house is about exams it has to do with higher education okay this is so on point correct me if i'm wrong i mean obviously if you're not doing studies it's going to be in a different way but i'm going to talk about it too but yeah like um retaking exams redoing some kind of uh, documents especially if it's like documents for traveling like visa and all this those type of situation i guess it's too late to tell you to do these things in advance so i guess like during this period maybe you will renew redo your your passport your visa yeah i yeah actually i have to apply for visa extension so that all already is playing out this is so should be fun but uh, it's too much for me okay because um when you have so many planets in the ninth house it's also okay apart from having like higher degree goals here so let's say i want to do phd because i have no other choice to stay in europe because i'm not gonna work for someone um it can also talk for other people that maybe now you have new goals new ambitions that you're gonna work towards you're gonna polish them so it doesn't mean that you have new goals and you're gonna start achieving them already it's like 
okay, I was thinking about this kind of idea and you're gonna start building it up, building that idea, working towards it, okay? For others of you, it can also talk about you traveling to places that you have already been to before. It's like traveling opportunities. It's obviously studying opportunities, meeting with foreigners. But again, because it's retrograde season, it's going back to old things, to old places, to old schools, and etc. Okay? Um... Let me think more. So yeah, and then from 15th of August, Mercury is gonna go, so it's gonna, it's going retrograde in Virgo, right? In your ninth house. And then it's gonna go whoop, from 15th to Leo. So it's gonna go to your eighth house and it's gonna be there until 28th, like retrograding until 28th of August which means it's going to be in in uh, in Leo for quite a while until like September. So again, the financial situation here is kind of uh becoming very much a highlight of your summer and the beginning of the fall. So co correct me if I am wrong, tell me how this is playing out for you, but you're kind of getting yourself in some into some kind of tense situation where you might, you might not necessarily you will be like uh, happy about whatever is going to happen because it's the house of tense, like everything is going to feel a little bit tense. But yeah, this is one part of your life, of anyone's life to go through some kind of crisis situation. Um, but again, as I said, this is the period where you will again remove and dissect unnecessary things, people, uh, situations from your life but again I can say that some of you are really really focusing on financial part of your life at this point because um, eighth house is not only responsible for scholarships it's responsible for grants loans all the governmental financial support from someone so you some of the Capricorns during this period gonna really find ways to receive financial support and financial help from outside but if we think about not outside this can also talk about trading so if some of these capricorns who are watching me please let me know if it's only me who's considering trading and crypto world to make money because come on bitcoin is a capricorn Bitcoin is born in January, so it's a Capricorn with Leo rising and a lot of stellium actually in Capricorn. So please let me know if there are other Capricorns who are doing trading because this is what I'm seeing for Capricorns in um, August and September. And I can confirm that this is one of the ways that I'm thinking about to survive financially. And one of, one of the ways, the second way is either try to do a PhD or another master and find scholarships and grants. But yeah, let's move on. Now this retrograde is until 28th, I told you. And obviously that Mercury is going to stay in the 8th house for some time more. Now let's go to the most important event that already happened. Like an event that is resurfacing from December of 2020. Let me know what happened for you in December of 2020. Did you initiate something? Did you... Did you start some kind of project or you thought about something and this is the month where you're gonna go back to that topic to that vibe to that healing and it's gonna be in your head and the situations will be happening for you to reanalyze that situation so let's see what is that situation for you guys now in this month the situation that we have is Jupiter squaring Saturn and Saturn is our planet. So yeah. Now, mm, Venus from the ninth house is gonna oppose the Saturn that is in the third house. And both of these are going to square Jupiter and Mars that are in your sixth house. So to me, let me put this down. So if you look, it's you have two oppositions from ninth house and from third house, and they are 
kind of like putting all the tension, all the pressure onto your sixth house. Okay, so this is quite important. So listen closely. Sixth house has to do with your physical body, your health, and we can also add mental health as well. Your pets, your routine, your discipline, and employment. So there is this opposition that is happening from your skills, your knowledge, your expertise, um, and your education. And there are kind of like putting challenge and opposition, like um, tension to your physical body, to your routine, to your environment. So to me, it looks like during this period, you will be reconsidering how you are going to why it makes me want to cry this is so weird Oof. Um, it has to do with your environment it feels like during this august there is going to be so much like you're going to be so occupied with doing like a lot of documents preparing so many documents that you have to do something about this and it is related to your employment to your health to your work and to your kind of we can kind of say like a little bit of status here and there but it's kind of like a very busy month i would say so let's say maybe until august everything was like this and now you're gonna be like oh my god i have to do so many things and it is all related to paperwork that's going to influence the change in your environment how you live how you eat how do you take care of your discipline um, and your pets as well so maybe some of you during this period maybe in 2020 you were thinking about having a pet now this is the period that you might consider that again because it might help you somehow um, for some of you maybe you will consider going back to work to some other place that you have already worked for before so maybe that's why it's going to be a little bit tense um, the way that it's playing out in my case i would say it plays out for me more on my rising sign this aspect but in terms of um, be becoming super busy and disciplined and occupied this totally makes sense so first of all for example by in my ninth house and third house are activated right it means a lot of movement so i have exam in a different city eight okay so i'll have to be traveling moving in a train via train so train is ninth house and it's definitely gonna affect my health my discipline which means i will have to study every single day but yeah again for some of you it's either related to studying or it's related to your health let me know how it is playing out for you i can say my mom's retired so there is not going to be a lot of education but you never know sometimes she decides to study english sometimes i'm like mom can you please learn english and then she's like wait she starts her duolingo and she starts working out and she starts like studying taking it seriously so maybe for some of you it's something of that sort as well but ninth house is also responsible for grandkids so if you have grandkids this is why you're going to be very very busy i can tell you one thing for sure most of the capricorns are taking their health and diet very 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 seriously or their pets are getting affected i have two cats not anymore i mean they are my mother's cats now so she's a capricorn both of those cats she's taking to she's taking them to vet almost every week because constantly there's some kind of health situation happening so that's why she's busy and yeah you can also see that maybe because you're going to visit a hospital or a doctor a lot you're going to be very much occupied and you have to prepare documents and uh, yeah please let me know how this is playing out for you maybe she's she was also planning to she wants to but i'm not sure if she's gonna do it like take driving lessons so yeah now yeah. and around 24th of august this tension is going to kind of like ooh, um kind of feel more light because on 24th of august venus was going to trine pluto so venus from the ninth house so yeah 24th of august venus is going to trine pluto that is i believe 
for some of Capricorns, it's in the first house. For others, because it's zero degree. So where is Aquarius zero degree in your chart? Is it is is it in your first house or it's in your second house? So depending on that, it's gonna give you like blessing in either one of those. But if we say nine house trining the first house, then you're gonna have really good results about uh, whatever you were planning to do, like your visa application, your exams, your new goals, your new projects some kind of dream that you have during this period you're gonna feel already like good results and receive maybe um good answers i hope i'm gonna graduate wish me luck i'm gonna be done with masters <laughs> i really want to go for a phd though i don't know why i'm being too open but whatever all right um Yeah, for some of you it can be your 10th house because like last degrees of Virgo is it in your 9th house or is it in your 10th house so if it's in, in your 10th house and Aquarius zero degrees in your second house then we're talking about your career and money but again that's more like you either have to do some specific diving into your chart to understand this or you can consult with me or you can um, check other signs to see which part it is but I'm talking about like zero degree um, Aquarius falling into your first house and we're gonna have a full moon on 19th of August <laughs> guess where uh, this full moon for you is happening in Aquarius in your second house of money so uh, this full moon is gonna bring uh, conclusions resolutions results and answers to topics related to your money to your uh, qualities to your talents okay 19th of august and it is kind of combined with every aspect that i already mentioned so <laughs> that's interesting to know please let me know what kind of Capricorn you are. I would also appreciate if you let me know what's your moon because that's where our differentiation comes in. But if you're interested in studying astrology, the natal chart reader module is already out. You can already order it and you have more than 20 videos, 20 lectures with more than 600 slides to go over, to watch, read and listen and etc. and become a natal chart reader and transformer. But if you already know astrology, you can join us with other modules, modules of vocational astrology, compatibility, kids, transits and etc. Obviously, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I would be very, very, very happy to work with Capricorns. It's very interesting uh, to work with Capricorns because they don't usually reach out for help. <laughs> yeah, I am the same. So, But yeah, you reach out for help when you're literally like you have no other option. So let me know if you are at that stage or if you want to like maybe help yourself a little bit better. I'm actually learning that. Actually, yeah. I had a call the other day, I, I asked for a consultation, but related to something else. And I, and I entered in a call and I was wearing black, okay, the Capricorn color. And I opened the video and the girl is wearing black and I'm like, and she's consulting me and I'm like, I'm also doing consultation, but for other topics. And then in the end, I'm like, are you like, are you an Aquarius or a Capricorn? She's like, I am a Capricorn. And I was like, mm-hmm. Okay, see, I'm taking some steps to reach out for help because I don't want to be like doing everything by myself anymore. I'm done. I want to delegate. So yeah, <sighs> subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, and thank you so much for supporting me so for so long. Uh, three years, I think, from 2021. We're moving on to Sagittarius and I will need a sip of water. Oh, water! You know, I'm so excited because the moon is in Leo, so I'm kind of feeling good. <sighs> okay, so hello, dear Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you are checking your rising sign, your sun sign, and your moon sign. And uh, let's begin. I'm running out of breath. Um, these supplements are really affecting my heart anyways let's begin we have a new moon literally tomorrow in the sign of leo 
and this new moon for you happening in your ninth house okay the leo moon happening in the ninth house is telling you about new beginnings that have to do for you related in the fields of either education or working for a foreign company or working with foreigners or meeting with foreigners or expanding your horizons or expanding your business expanding something but obviously it can it also has to do with traveling so i would say this is the season for sagittarius risings to begin their expeditions to begin their exploration in different fields in different locations and etc so i can confirm this uh, no i'm not gonna say it yeah this is new thing i'm getting used to not saying evil eye you know if you're coming from balkan countries or from central asia you will understand what i'm talking about evil eye is bad yeah anyways so yeah the new new beginnings new plans that have to do with everything to do with foreign everything to do with studying so i would say for some of you maybe some of you are getting into bachelor school master school phd or working for a foreign company working with foreigners or traveling and etc so this is quite beautiful i would say on the 5th of august venus is gonna go from leo so it has been in Leo in the past month and it's going to go to your 10th house of Virgo. So this is the period where your, please tell me you didn't hear that. So where was I? So it goes to your 10th house and Venus in the 10th house talks about your career, your reputation, your status is becoming kind of the focus of your attention. It's becoming something more important something more official i cannot stop this so please you can scroll a little bit you can scroll it a little little bit i hope it's done anyways so this is the period where let's say if you were an intern if you were a student during this period you're gonna get this official notice official paper of you becoming you having specific positions so for example if you were interning for some kind of foreign company let's say now from 5th of august you're gonna already receive official papers official confirmation or results or you will receive information about the financial situation Oh. sorry yeah financial information about whatever you were doing so let's say you were yeah let's say some of you are doing internship and now you're going to receive how much money you're going to make or your papers are already going to be confirmed and you receive that kind of official letter for some of you it can mean that Maybe during this time, you will finally get accepted to that whatever school you wanted. So now officially you're a student or you're officially retired. You're officially like your status is kind of changing. But Venus going to the 10th house, it's usually it talks about now you're finally going to receive the money of your labor. Now you're going to receive the financial results of what you have been doing for past month or six months or whatever, how many months you were doing things for free. So the same day okay uh, the same day mercury which is already in your 10th house it's gonna go retrograde so now here you will either receive some kind of offers from the past companies that you worked in for from or from the past jobs you're gonna receive offers from the past or maybe some of the documents are missing for you and you will have to redo something restart something and work on those things but yeah it really depends how it's playing out for you so let me know is it like um are you going back to an old job or maybe you missed some kind of document so now you're gonna redo all of the procedure and this is the situation until 15th of august and then from 15th of august mercury is gonna go to your ninth house so for some of you when mercury goes back to your ninth house you are either retaking exams 
or redoing something to do with your education. Maybe some of you will go back to university and ask to uh, activate your status, like I want to be a student again, or some of you will want to take the courses that you you took before and now you have to redo it or maybe some of you are going to renew readjust redo your documents like your passport your visa some kind of important document that you need for either job or for traveling etc this is the period that you're gonna work on that and i can confirm because i have some such tears rising in my life these things are true uh, let me know how it is for you. Some of you might be interested in learning the language that you, let's say, started studying, but then you didn't continue or you took some kind of uh, course in like, I don't know, fabric making, fabrics and sewing and etc. Now you're going to do that again, but now you're going to take it more seriously. Or again, some of you might reconsider to go back to school. Yeah. Now, let's see. and this mercury is going to be retrograde until 28th of august okay so until 28th of august you're going to do some old things some of you might be traveling to old locations that you have already visited maybe you're going to travel to i don't know you you were in some kind of cruise or on some kind of trip to so in specific location years ago or months ago now you're going to go back to the same place and it's fine but if you want to go and try new locations not a good idea okay now around so it's already happening but around 15th 16th of august we're gonna have this very interesting event that might resurface the topics from four years ago from december of 2020 and this is on for you let me let me let me do that for you it's happening in the fields that have to do with your career your living location your home and your partner so let me just do this okay let me just do some um, visual description so what happens we have two things opposing so your career and your living place your home country or your house your room or your parents okay there, there is some kind of tension happening where you're like oh, i want to i want to do this but then i don't have a good location to live in or like my parents are not allowing me to work on this whatever job whatever whatever and all of this is kind of going in a triangle to your partnership situation so all of this tension is affecting your partner your clients or your business clients partners and contracts so this is something that probably resurfaced from 2020 these feelings of like oh do i really want to do this job or do i want to go back to my home country do i want to stay with my parents or i want to like move out and try something new and then you're like do i need a partner for this so somehow it because i know many different such series rising and i can see how this is playing out differently but kind of same fields but very different way so for example for some of the Sagittarius, there is this tension between their living location, the place that they live in. For others, it's it has to do with their parent or parents, the mother and the career and the work. And it is some, somehow affecting either their love partner or their business partner or their clients. But again, this is the moment where you can use, this is a lot of energy, so you can take an advantage of this event to use it for something good so if you are um a sagittarius rising that wants to do something um on social media this is the period where you might receive a lot of uh, attention a lot of exposure so use this opportunity and it's actually the whole month but exact aspects are around 15th 16th 19th of august <sighs> um yeah let me know if these topics are related to your to something from 2020 this is very interesting to know and the thing is on the next day on 19th of august you're gonna have a full moon in aquarius and it is happening for you in your third house but again 
really depends how many degrees you have in your first house like yeah that's more on a consultation you will see but like um generally the third house is going to be aquarius for sagittarius risings and it's a full moon and it's closure results and endings and for you it has to do with some kind of education with receiving some kind of paper completing some kind of course or maybe starting some kind of course or understanding what do you want to do in terms of your skills maybe some of you might finally understand that you can monetize your skills you can use all of the skills or for for others it can be related to your siblings some kind of news some kind of result some kind of conclusion some kind of offer that has to do with your siblings that has to do with traveling short distance traveling and some kind of documents so um with that being said I will also let you know that around 24th of August, so if there was some kind of tension to do with your work and your living situation, from 24th of August, you will feel the ease and uh, it, will, it will become kind of uh, easier because we will have a trine um, of Venus with Pluto that are that is like happening for you from your career to your finances so during this period i think maybe you will either receive good opportunity to make good money or you will receive some kind of promotion or you will receive some kind of financial gain but it's from your hard work maybe some kind of bonus from work or a promotion or you will find a good job opportunity and with that being said, if you're interested in studying astrology, if you are a beginner, I have perfect course for you to begin with, a NATO chart reader transformer with more than 20 lectures, with more than 600 slides that you can read, listen, and uh, watch. And you can always message me if you have any questions. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one reading with me, I'm available to help you out, even though I have eight exams, but I would love to do astrology way more than doing the exams. And we're going to move on to Scorpios. I'm, I might need a, a, a sip of water. Hello dear Scorpios, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you are checking your rising sun, your sun sign, and your moon sign. So let's begin. First things first, we have a new moon tomorrow, 4th of August, and it is happening for you in your 10th house of career. Congratulations. There is going to be some kind of new beginning, new offer. Okay, new meaning like you already know about it, but now it's going to be kind of like official official beginning of this career path or a big shift in your life where your status has been changed now um the next day on 5th of august virgo that was in your 10th house not virgo venus that has been in your 10th house is moving to virgo to your 11th house so with venus going to your 11th house some of you are going to find uh, um opportunities to socialize with more people you might meet someone through a friend but the thing is you have to know is that mercury is already in your 11th house and it's gonna go retrograde so what i can say here people from the past are coming back to you and these people are usually your friends acquaintances so you will notice that during this time this period you're going to be super 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 busy interacting engaging having calls uh, meeting up with friends and people from the past life so also if you had some kind of uh, conflict or some kind of uh, problem with your acquaintances or your friends this is this is the perfect time to resolve the situations because you also have venus in there so it's going to be perceived easier whereas it was like other let's say mars in there from 15th of August though, this Mercury is gonna go back to your 10th house. It's gonna go back to your career, to your status. So something is gonna resurface from your work. It's either you're gonna receive offers from um, the, the companies that you worked in before. They might offer you like new opportunities to work with them, or maybe you 
if you were doing something to do with like documents and your your status you will have to redo the papers you will have to restart some kind of projects or maybe for some of you during this period you will have the realization of like is this something that i actually want is this something that i truly passionate about uh, should i continue this or is it, like lots of um, thinking about these things but some of you might go back to different company that you already worked in before yeah something to do with work with your status or maybe it can also be with your parents as well or some kind of official relationship that you have either with either with your partner or at work now let me see more what else do we have here yeah so this mercury is going to be retrograde until 28th of august and uh I already talked a lot about what you can do, what you shouldn't do about Mercury retrograde in the beginning of this video. So you can go back and check that out. Now let's go to the most important event that already starts now, but then it's gonna get uh, strong and you're gonna feel it more uh, around 15th, 18th of August. So Venus from your 11th house of society, communication and friendships and dreams and goals gonna oppose your fifth house of love kids uh, and dates and then it's gonna make a square to your ninth house let me let me confirm this eighth house yeah to your eighth house so let me just put this down okay so you have the opposition that is happening so opposition means some kind of uh, tense situation or some kind of tension that is happening for you in your um, social activities in your specific uh, projects in some kind of group or your friendship uh, opposing to your actual interests and your actual beliefs uh, in terms of what you really want to do. Do you want to work in a specific community or you want to do something of your own? So there's going to be this battle between like, do I really want this? And all of this is aspecting like going in square to your eighth house of finances. So it can play out like either positively, or negatively, it depends on your situation, but it looks like uh, maybe some of you are working on some kind of project either with groups of people or like like-minded people and it is affecting your financial situation so maybe some of you will be applying for grants loans or scholarships or governmental support or maybe you will be dealing with big amounts of money that have to do either with kids with some kind of society some kind of groups or maybe some of you will be working on some kind of organizations that have to do with women and child protection and you will need like financial support on that so maybe you will be dealing with that or maybe your kids or uh, if you have kids maybe you will be thinking about where to get money to support your kids education or yeah your kids education or something to do for your kids is going to be an important part of your life for this month but the thing is these topics are kind of resurfacing back from 2020 whatever you did in 2020 december whatever you initiated whatever you started during this period you're gonna have this topic resurface and you're gonna think about it again but if we think of it it's connected to your fifth house and your eighth house so fifth house of self-love your business your kids your hobbies and big money that has to do either with trading or it has to do with banks loans and grants so if we think about it some of you might go into trading mode so you're gonna like trade or think about like crypto world or stocks for others of you it can mean that maybe you will be applying for grants or scholarships and financial opportunities for your kids governmental support or or etc if you have kids for others of you maybe you want to start your own business and now you're gonna find you're gonna look for financial support from somebody else to help you with this project and on 24th of august it's gonna get uh, better so you're gonna receive maybe results uh, and it is happening from this 
social group or from your community uh, and your friend and it is happening uh, for you in your third house of siblings of documents and short distance travelings and making more connections so i would say a lot of networking a lot of opportunities to get to know more people that can help you in the future finding like-minded people so if you are a scorpio rising that has a youtube channel or you want to start some kind of freelance activity or online activity during this period 24th of august around this period you're going to receive really good uh, offers and results and on 19th of august we will have a full moon that's going to happen in your fourth house of your residency of your location of your uh, parents and your let's say citizenship or immigration processes so um, full moons are usually results ending closures that have to do with all of these topics so maybe you'll receive some kind of news from your parents or some kind of confirmation about your living situation living location neighbors and etc yes and if you are interested in studying astrology either from the beginning or you're already you know the beginning the basics of astrology and you want to move with other topics like vocational astrology transits compatibility kids astrology you can join me and my uh, students uh, with live lectures but if you're a beginner and you want to learn how to become a natal chart reader and help people to transform you can already purchase the course it's already ready we have 20 plus uh lectures we have 600 plus slides you can read, you can listen, you can watch, you can message me if you have any questions. I will be very happy to help you. And if you want to have one-on-one -on -one reading with me, welcome. I'll be happy to assist you. And we're moving on to Libra. So let's go. I need a sip of water. hello dear libras welcome back to my channel make sure that you are watching your rising sign your sun sign and your moon sign first things first we're gonna have a new moon in leo tomorrow 4th of august we have a new moon and for you it's happening in your 11th house of friendships uh social groups social activities communities projects online work freelance and uh, tender like meeting people online so this is completely new beginning kind of a new chapter of your life where you have some kind of big project or a big goal that you want to start and uh, initiate so this is like a, like you know chapter 10 of my life and that's the new chapter so yeah that's what's happening for you for, for the new moon um on 5th of august what we actually have is virgo not virgo venus <laughs> venus moving to virgo to your 12th house where mercury is already in and 12th house has to do with everything um i can say yeah i can say everything abroad um that is about like immigration that is about relocation full movement to another place where you're completely isolated you so basically you're moving to a place where you have no connections you don't know anybody and yeah that's one ways of interpretation of this the other way obviously for more spiritual side of uh libra risings is going to be going on retreats getting more into spirituality meditating and etc but uh, let me know if you're on a spiritual side of libras or more on a practical side that you don't believe in astrology but uh, let's say this is the period where you gonna either relocate or maybe you will start preparing your documents for immigration for movement some of you might initiate some kind of secretive uh, projects you don't want to tell about it to anyone maybe you're gonna start working remotely you're gonna work on some kind of behind the scenes job that you're not gonna share with others some of you might even go on a retreat to some kind of island or you're gonna like take a break and you will have to be like relaxing and um 
having a kind of chill time for yourself but also 12th house is the house of secrets just like uh, eighth house it's the house of um the things that you want to hide but uh, also it's the house where you have hidden enemies and you figure out some kind of things about what other people were hiding from you so yeah um some of you might get into astrology into spirituality or maybe you will uh, find someone to consult with and learn more about your spiritual side. So with that being said, the same day, Mercury goes retrograde, okay? On the 5th of August, Mercury is going to go retrograde in your 12th house where you will either uh, go back to something that you initiated in um, mid-July. Also, it can mean that, let's say, if you were going for some kind of immigration or relocation, uh, process this is the period where you will go back and you will have to redo something restart or resubmit something that will be missing and you will have to put that back again but also it can mean that maybe some people from the past for you will be coming back because from 15th of august when mercury goes to your 11th house you're gonna go back uh not you people from the past are going to be resurfacing for you. So you're going to meet with people that you haven't seen in a long time, you haven't talked to. So it's until 28th of August, you will be probably meeting a lot of people from the past, having a lot of calls, a lot of uh, negotiate, negotiate, not interaction, a lot of socializing, a lot of meeting with people. So uh, that's very interesting. Uh, if we also add something like, um, one second, Libra, my brain is glitching, is it? Yeah, so because Mercury also rules your ninth house, which has to do with traveling, uh, studying abroad, moving to other places, I guess you're gonna like start traveling back to some kind of places that you've been to before or you're gonna meet people that you have met in different countries now you're gonna meet them and you haven't seen them in a long 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 time so yeah that's the thing let's see more what more things we have all right so one of the big events that is already happening but it's going to be more exact and specific around 15th 16th of august and it is related for you with your movement abroad studying abroad traveling abroad um preparing for immigration your health and work and your pets so to me this clearly screams loud the relocation with a purpose of working so relocating to a different continent different country with a purpose of work or for some of you it can be uh, traveling to different country to fix the health so maybe you will like yeah i know some people travel to other countries to do the health checkups and surgeries and etc but we don't do surgeries during mercury retrograde However, it's, if it's something from the past and you have to redo it, then yes, I would, I would say that is true. Yeah, and this aspect is also something that maybe affected some of you from 2020. The topics that were in 2020 are going to be resurfacing and they're related to living abroad, studying abroad, working with foreigners or working abroad or doing something to your health with foreign doctors um, and maybe experts going to experts to see how they can help you out also around 24th of august i guess some of you will receive good results in terms of relocation for example because you will have maybe if until 24th of august you had some kind of delays some kind of rejections or some some sort of those things around 24th of august and onward or within that period you will already have good results or you will have already answers about where you're gonna move what kind of country what kind of room what kind of uh, city uh what kind of house 
it is going to be for you and for others of you who are not relocating or traveling it can be topics related to your parents to your mother for example um, that has to do either with their health or with their topics maybe some kind of secrets about your family is going to resurface and uh, on 19th of August we will have a full moon in Aquarius that is happening for you and that is happening for you in your fifth house of love kids entertainment and fun so you're gonna receive some kind of results conclusion ending uh, of some kind of sort of dating situation or being in love or you're gonna like either change your status of your relationship with the other person to either commit it or to fully completing it and finishing it but it's going to be like completion of some kind of cycle that has to do with your love partner or your kids so if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can always reach out if you want to study astrology from zero and you're a beginner and you really want to understand a natal chart and also figure out how you can make the best out of your chart or somebody somebody else's chart you can transform it with my module one that has to do with natal chart reader and transformer it's already out you can purchase it you can watch it whenever how long wherever you want it's 20 plus lectures more than 600 slides you can listen read watch and ask me questions whenever you want mm -hmm. yeah um yeah if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe we're moving on to virgos and i need a sip of water so let's see I hope I don't pass out because I'm having some health situation here. Hello dear Virgos, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you're checking your rising sign, your sun sign and your moon sign. And uh, this month is quite an important month for Virgos especially because all of these aspects, most of these aspects are happening for you in cardinal signs, means cardinal changes, okay? And these cardinal changes are related to something from the past, especially from 2020. So listen closely, buckle up and let's go. First things first, we have a new moon on tomorrow yeah tomorrow we have a new moon in leo in your 12th house what it is 12th house has to do with immigration relocation isolation working remotely or doing some kind of hidden thing that you don't want to share with others or maybe figuring out some kind of secrets so that's the new beginnings for you that are going to happen I can confirm that I have a majority of my first house in Virgo. This full moon, this new moon is happening in the twelfth house, so I have to prepare for extending my residency in Europe. So that's that's I confirm that now. Now, Virgo, not Virgo. On fifth of August, Venus will join Mercury that are in Virgo in your first house. So those virgo risings who uh have been like not only virgo risings but like uh, virgo suns especially or if you have a lot of planets or your moon is in virgo if you were feeling kind of drained or exhausted in the past month now you're gonna feel like i'm the best wait where is the i need some light Now you're gonna feel energized. Now you will feel like I'm the best person in this world. I'm the most cutest, I'm the most smartest, I'm the most beautiful. So your style is going to change or you will want to like change something in yourself. Don't do it because <laughs> we're gonna be in Mercury retrograde. No drastic changes. However, if it's something that you had a long time ago, like maybe five years ago you had bleached hair and now you are you have virgin hair, maybe, maybe it will go fine, but I don't, I will highly doubt that but basically during this period you're gonna bloom you're gonna shine you're gonna attract so much attention you will feel like you're going um 
you're becoming more visible so maybe you will also focus on your um, style you're gonna go back to your old style maybe because you were losing weight now you're gonna go back to the old clothes that you were wearing and basically something to do with your old older looking old body goals that you had you're gonna go back to those now uh on 5th of august the same day mercury will start going backwards in a virgo and guys this this mercury first of all rules you so all the virgos are ruled by mercury so you already feel the effects of mercury retrograde mostly i would say it's glitching with technology it's a glitch of your speech your communication and uh, things are just going slow for you but your mind is like oh i want to do so many things but then feel slow but it also rules your 10th house of career and your status and your work so during this period i feel like with the retrograde mercury going retrograde you might either receive offers from your past jobs that you were working in so your bosses from the past are going to reach out to you um, for help or maybe they will offer you a job in previous positions and, and i don't know how you're going to react to that but interesting maybe it's going to be something um interesting because on 15th of August, uh, this Mercury is gonna go back to your 12th house. So maybe I will. I feel like some of you might receive some kind of offers from your past jobs, but you won't uh, be interested in sharing it to the world. Like, I feel like you might receive a job and you're like, I don't wanna tell others. So like, I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Just, just not sharing it with others. Or it can mean that during this period, you're gonna start some kind of remote, remote work for others of you, it can also mean that you're gonna um, initiate the old topics related to relocation. If you were thinking about relocating and um, you were preparing your documents for immigration, relocation, and etc., this is the period where you're gonna prepare those documents. You're gonna go over and analyze if you're missing something, if everything is perfect, and da 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 da. -da. So you got the point. Um, now, around 15th 16th of august we have this big event that can be resurfacing the past topics from 2020 so go back and check what happened for you in december of 2020 and this is quite big uh event for virgos virgo risings virgo moon because it's affecting your cardinal houses first things first Venus is going to oppose Saturn that is in your seventh house. So majority of Virgos are going through some kind of change and challenges or transformation in topics related to some kind of close people in your life, one-on-one -on -one relationships. So you're going to have this kind of opposition coming from you and your partner in front of you. And all of this is squaring your location, okay? All of these topics are affecting your place of living, your home country, your parents. So, wait, no, 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 10th house, sorry. These are affecting your 10th house. So we are gonna having a triangle up. So something to do with either documents because a seventh house is also the house of legal, legal stuff. Um, documents that have to do with your status with who you are are affecting your your status in general so for some of you it can either be your reputation in terms of work and let me know what happened for you in december of 2020 what area what what some what was something that you initiated in 2020 uh that is resurfacing for you and it is affecting your social status in general so it's very big important month and again it's going to affect your before and after life so this is the period where you will either let's say some of you will either graduate or finally receive the offer to work in some kind of uh, corporation that you have already worked on before especially around 2020 and 
it's going to kind of affect your personality and your individuality as well so it's going to be either it's on my terms or i don't want it anymore so also for some of you i can say that i kind of can say that people from the past that have to do with more like on a close relationships either love partners or some kind of best friend or some kind of specific person will be coming back and you might be resolving whatever was broken let's say for others of you it can be that you might be receiving your loyal customers so if you are working with clients uh, or contracts you're gonna have this contracts again from the past coming back so loyal customers orders from people from the past but i'm telling you it's very big it's not something that you're not gonna notice so let me know what it is exactly for you because for me i know what it is and it is in similar locations one seven ten yeah if you want i can share so in 2020 i officially decided to quit working for someone and decided to start my own startup with a seventh house with a partner and by the way i am having a saturn return in the seventh house so this partner that i started a business with left my life two times when first time the saturn went and when it's going retrograde so two times they left my life and yeah so now i'm going back to this idea of working on my own thing but i will have to work on what kind of people i want to work with what kind of people i can let into my life to help me build this 10th house career and business and i want recognition for myself because first house of um with venus in the first house you want to put yourself as the person that has the recognition and reputation for what you do so that's in my case for others of you it can be like something like yeah you can hire me for this position that you offered me in 2020 but now it's on my terms in terms of finances because venus is like i want specific amounts of money that you need to offer and if this period for some of you is stressful yeah for some of you it can be some of you please let me know if there are people who are going through some kind of divorce situation some kind of big breakup where you have to either divide things but uh or your status is completely changing in this kind of divorce situation let me know what it is because you're going to receive a support around 24th of august around 24th of august venus is going to trine pluto that is in your fifth house hopefully yeah it's in your fifth house um so it, it really depends where is your zero degree aquarius is it in your fifth house or it's in your sixth house also check where are the last degrees of virgo for you is it in the first house or the second so if it's in the second and the sixth then we're talking about the financial part but assuming that majority will have in the first house and in the fifth house this is talking about receiving a confirmation or support to do what you love for for some of you uh receiving confirmation or support for your kids um some kind of support for them so let me know what it is and on 19th of august we're gonna have a full moon in aquarius and it is happening for you in your sixth house that has to do with your work employment discipline health and your pets so during this period some kind of result that has to do with official employment for example or with your pets or, or with your health is going to be there now if you're interested in studying astrology from zero to like professional you can already purchase natal chart reader module where you can not only learn about natal chart and understand people but also help yourself and others to use the best out of your or there's natal chart it's called natal chart reader and transformer it's already ready 20 plus lectures plus 600 plus uh, lecture notes that you can read watch and listen and if you're interested in one-on-one reading with me you can obviously reach out to me and i will be very happy to work with you and we're moving on to leos i'll need a sip of water
Hello dear Leos, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you're checking your rising sun, sun sign, and your moon sign if you're new to my channel. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. And let me know who you are. Are you Leo rising? Are you Leo sun? Are you Leo moon? And happy birthday to Leo suns this month. Happy birthday. So first things first, we have a new moon. Guess what? In which sign? Mm -hmm. New moon in Leo. Tomorrow, 4th of August, we will have a new moon in Leo, whether it's in your first house, whether it's in your sun sign or your moon sign. Um, it's going to be new beginnings, new initiations that have to do with you. You will finally feel alive because during this period, most of the planets were probably going through your 12th house. So it has been a little bit, um, a little bit kind of tough or um, draining but now that you already have mercury in, uh, in virgo it's actually uh, now that you have venus there in the first house in leo so you already feel recharged with this new moon you're gonna have like new beginning new initiation people will be like oh my god we forgot about her existence or his existence and you're like voila and uh, moi i'm back i am back and I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. So that's like a new beginning that you have. On 5th of August, Venus is going to go to your second house. So until that, it has been your first house. So that's why you can notice the, the full change here. That's the Venus job. The moment Venus moved into Leo last month, no, actually in June, end of June, this happened, okay? And now Venus is going to go to your second house of cash, 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 money, 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 money. Your talents, your qualities, um, everything to do with quality and your, yeah, and your money is going to be the highlight. You're going to, I can confirm, this is the period where you will be concentrated on making money. Hustle, baby, hustle. It's not about like acquiring some kind of grants or scholarship. It's more like, okay, now I need to really make money because uh, my reservoir is finishing. So I have to fill it up. And Mercury is already there. So I assume you are already thinking about it. But with Venus going there, you're going to make, you're going to start making money. However, on the 5th of August, the same day, Mercury is going to go retrograde in your second house. And the thing is, the thing is, this Mercury is going to go retrograde in the second house, right? So now you will either receive offers to from your past employers. <laughs> this actually happens every time Mercury retrograde, retrograde goes retro. Every time Mercury goes retrograde, I always receive an email from my um, first and last employ employer yeah so and it has to do with money right for you it's in the second house so you're gonna receive offers or job opportunities but from someone who already knows you or from uh, a company that you already worked for before yeah, that for me it happens all the time but yeah you will have opportunities to make money but from the things or from people that you already knew and worked with before now from 15th of august this mercury is gonna go back to your first house so whatever ambitions whatever initiations you had uh, in july something if you had some kind of spark of idea around july this is the period where you're gonna go back to it you're gonna uh, refresh it redo it rethink about whatever ambition you had during that period maybe for some of you it has to do with your physical body and you're gonna go back to your uh style from last month and etc uh let me also see virgo not only rules your second house of money it also rules i believe your ninth house of traveling so it also looks to me that you will either receive uh opportunities to either travel to places that you have already been to before or maybe some of you will retake exams during this period eight of them or you're gonna uh, have to work on your documentations that have to do with your passport with your uh, immigration with your visa and etc yeah and travel to some kind of places that you have already been to before or think about uh studying the things that you have already studied before retaking some kind of courses 
applying for let's say if you have finished masters you're gonna apply for another masters or something that you really wanted to study before you're gonna do that now moving on around 15th to 16th of august like that period so from 15th to 19th this whole period is going to be quite interesting we will have one of the most biggest events of the year where venus from your second house is going to oppose eighth house saturn and they're all going to make a square to your 11th house okay hold on a second i was wrong about mercury ruling your ninth house it rules your 11th house okay now this happens during mercury retrograde my brain goes retrograde as well so uh everything i said about mercury retrograde that has to do with traveling uh, to places that you have been to before or education or passports that maybe for some of you will play out but it's gonna kind of work mostly on your uh, social activities on your communities and your friendships so i would say people from the past will be coming back like your friends acquaintances from the past are going to be reaching out for you and the people that you haven't seen in a long time during this period you're going to meet them see them interact so you're going to be very much engaged with people you will socialize a lot but from people from the past and this big event that i was talking about so from around 15th of august until 19th like this whole middle of august it's kind of big so you're gonna feel it a lot and it is happening as i said from your second house to your eighth house and all of it squaring your 11th house so here similar to oh, whose reading i was doing yeah, Aquarius is yeah similar to those but a little bit different is that you're gonna have uh, some kind of tense situation that has to do with your resources your money grants scholarships uh, financial support that have to do with your dreams and your goals and some kind of projects so it looks like some of you during this year are working on some kind of specific project some kind of goal some kind of dream that you have and for that you need finances you need your own money and you need some kind of m more money like grants and uh, subsidies and funds so in this case there's going to be this battle between in your head mostly like do i actually um am i actually going to be able to accomplish this goal this project can i make money from this project do i have money to sustain myself to make this project work and i can tell you this already this aspect doesn't matter if it's uh, good or bad it's a lot of energy so you can use this aspect for your benefit so use this aspect to kind of mostly like concentrate on do you actually want to work on this project do you think you can do it and if you are sure that this is something you really want to do then perseverance is going to be your uh, keyword here and you're going to receive support but you need to make sure that you are sure about this and you can prove to people that you really want to do this and you can do this right so for some of you it can talk about maybe initiating some kind of freelance job so if you wanted to do a freelance this is the perfect period because you're gonna be like oh my god if i do freelance the money is not going to be stable is it going to support me am i going to have comfort am i going to have stability da -da 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 -da. girl do you really want to do it if you're really rising it means you have to follow what your heart wants and once you confirm this then you can definitely do it for others of you because you're Leo rising so i believe you have this risk-taking ambition so some of you might be working on trading so this is something i'm interested in like trading working with crypto or working with oh shit sorry i crushed a mirror the other day and i think i'm stepping on it kind of hurts but yeah <laughs> anyways um for for some of you 
um, what can I say, some kind of social group, some kind of friends or some kind of community might be making you either spend money or you will feel like, oh, in order for me to be in this group, I have to spend money. So yeah, this is the way it's kind of playing out. But if it's really tense and you feel like this is too much for you, then I will tell you there will be a good day where you will feel a little bit like light and you will feel like, okay, now I see some kind of light in the end of the tunnel. I'm talking about around 24th of um, August, you will have Venus from your second house trining Pluto that is probably in your sixth house. So here you will either receive offers to work for someone and you will receive good financial offer to work for someone or have some kind of job or promotion opportunity and the money is going to be good. So that's to me sounds good too. And on 19th of August, we are gonna have a full moon in Aquarius that is happening for you in your seventh house of partnerships. Um, that has to do like business partnerships, love partnerships, clients and contracts. So I believe maybe if some of you are deciding to go freelance or to work on your project, you're going to have contracts and opportunities to finally seal the deal, make that offer work. Some of you might receive um, maybe calls or emails from your past clients, loyal clients and customers to work with. And if you are working on some kind of um, social project like you have youtube channel instagram or tiktok during this period i think you're gonna focus on monetizing this thing that you do to make money for you so like let's say i'm making youtube video and now during this period i will have to uh, that's what i'm gonna be thinking about to make it a serious money making machine for me because it's something social which means during this period hopefully if it's playing out in a positive way for you you're gonna receive um, more exposure more view more trust more clients and followers for example yes so if you're interested in uh, studying astrology which is actually 11th house that i was talking about that triangle on top 11th house is the house of astrology so if some of you want to make money from astrology learn astrology and become financially abundant you can already purchase natal chart reader and transformer it's already ready 20 plus lectures 600 plus pages of lecture notes that you can listen watch and read and it's going to help you to understand a natal chart understand a person next to you and perhaps help someone to use the best out of their chart by transforming their chart so that's why it's called native chart reader and transformer um, but if you already have the basic like the basic fundamental knowledge of astrology you can join us in vocational astrology compatibility astrology kids astrology transits and etc you can check all of that uh, in my web on my website and if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one reading with me reach out and let me know in comments who what kind of leo you are and we're moving on to cancers now cancer need a sip of water Hello dear Cancer, welcome to my channel, I'm very excited, uh, all of you happy birthday, happy belated ex birthday, but let's go with August reading. First things first, make sure that you are checking your rising sign, your sun sign and your moon sign to have more accurate prediction and do not blame me, this is not playing out for me, it plays out if you know your rising sign. Anyways, I love you guys. <laughs> um, so first things first, we have a new moon in Leo. And it is happening for you in your second house so finally those cancers who didn't have jobs or didn't have financial um abundance this is the month where you're gonna initiate new project new chapter of your life that has to do with hustling making money 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 important right yes now 
the next day so this new moon is tomorrow 4th of august then on the uh, 5th of august venus is gonna go to virgo so venus right now is in your second house of finances so you're either already initiating the process of um, getting that job getting that money and now venus is gonna go to your third house of siblings short distance travelings preparing documents and etc so i feel like um for some of you during this period you're going to be very much occupied and busy preparing some kind of uh, documents i don't know to submit to your new job for like your finances or others of you during this period might be um going to your old education style like let's say you were studying something specific months years ago now you're gonna go back to it and you will kind of take it more seriously because if you have venus there it's more on a serious level and more on a monetizing level so now it's not just a hobby that you are just like oh i will just go back and study this thing just for myself now venus will be like no 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 how are we gonna make money from this i know you like it but we are we need stability we need some security financial security is important so please tell me this new course that you are purchasing is it going to make us money so the venus is going to bring out this kind of ideas in your head to work on those things okay so pay attention to that is this new course that you are purchasing or it's old course that you're going back to are you going to make financial use of it if yes amazing now in other cases we have here communication okay it's about siblings it's about friends from high school from middle school so i'm telling you majority of you are going to be chit chatting call video calls interacting meeting all of these people from the past especially from 5th of august mercury is going to go retrograde it's going to go backwards and all of the people from the past uh, will be are going to reach out to you um, I can probably say maybe access as well. So your access are going to reach out to you. So look out for that as well if you're interested. And from 15th of August, this Mercury is going to go back to your second house. So it's going to go back to either receiving offers from your previous employer or, or whatever you were doing in um, July, whatever you were doing in mid-July or in like some period in July. Now you're going to go back to that whatever thing that you were doing and you're gonna already um communicate on the financial level of this thing so let's say you were interning or you were just searching for a job during the july and you couldn't find an official job maybe now you're gonna receive offers or you are finishing your internship and now you're gonna talk about the financial part of it and that's going to be the main thing in your head for august in terms of finance, you're going to think about oh, how can I make more money? What kind of job I have to take? What kind of hustling I have to do? The secret is in Venus. Venus is money and it's going to your third house of uh, communication, interaction, skills, doing some things with your hands, writing books, publishing, making YouTube videos and etc. Okay, I hope that is a clue for you. Now, if we're moving a little bit forward, um, around 15th to 19th, that whole period, we'll have one of the most uh, important periods of this year. We are going to have Saturn squaring Jupiter, but it's also opposing Venus. So the Venus for you is in a third house of, as I said, communication, uh, interaction, courses, uh, skills that you have documents and it's going to oppose saturn that has been in your ninth house of traveling abroad studying abroad working for foreign companies and all of this are going to have a square to your 12th house of immigration working remotely um, the house of spirituality the house of working behind the scene on some kind of specific topics that have to do either with retreats with immigration with uh, traveling, with spirituality as well. So if some of you are on their process of, let's say, expanding their, their knowledge to start making money out of it, this is the moment that you will have a shaking period where you're like, am I good enough? 
is my knowledge uh, or my skills is it enough can i use it to make something out of this can i use it to make money from this whole situation should i travel abroad should i move to another country should i immigrate should i relocate should i isolate myself what should i do and you will have this hesitation but look at it uh, from a perspective of what happened for you in December of 2020 what topics that you had back then and I feel like they are resurfacing for some of you and it has to do with your education with your skills and with living traveling moving relocating abroad or using all of the skills to work on some kind of spiritual work to kind of um, either educate and teach other people on the spirituality topics or learn about spirituality and make money from these things and go on retreats, for example. And around 24th of August, so if the period before 24th of August was a little bit tense, uh, around 24th of August, you will feel like, okay, now things are getting better. Now I am more ambitious. Now I have more uh, drive to and confidence to do specific things and what are these specific things mm -hmm. we have uh venus in your third house and it's gonna try with your seventh house where you have aquarius i feel like for some of you definitely um your exes or your partners are going to play an important role in this month um they will either help you or they will either come back and try to propose to you and you're like uh let me think but for others of you it can mean that during this period maybe you will receive some kind of offers that are related to working with someone so someone that you know might offer you to work with them on some kind of business project but again if it's something new if this person is like you know that but they are bringing you some kind of new ideas no if it's something that you have already done with these with this person then yes you can consider it but if it's like something new then you should you shouldn't go for it and on 19th of august we will have um a full moon in aquarius and for you it's going to happen your eighth house so now you are going to complete and resolve some kind of situation that has to do with financial support for you so closure results and ending with other people's finances and other people helping you like loans, um, borrowing money, grants, receiving scholarships or, or some kind of financial subsidy. So look out for this month as of like a month of opportunities to retwist, um, adjust and change something of the past to kind of perfect it and move on with some kind of new chapter because these topics are going to resurface again in December so let me know what it is for you and if you want to study astrology from beginner level or you're already you know the basics and you want to go with like additional advanced astrology you can do that if you're a beginner you can already purchase already pre-recorded lectures on natal chart reading and transforming the natal chart with 20 plus lectures 600 plus lecture notes that you can listen watch and read and message me if you have any questions um or you can join other modules with us but if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can always reach out to me and we're moving on to gemini so let me take a sip of water here Hello dear Gemini, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you're checking your rising sun, sun sign and your moon sign. And let me tell you, this month is huge, okay? This month is very huge for Geminis, Virgos, Pisces and Sagittarius. It's very, 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 very important and uh, transforming month where you have everything like shaken up and like to get yourself together kind of periods of your life for 2024. So 
what do we have first things first we have a new moon in leo that is happening for you in your third house so you can already think about what it is it's new opportunities new beginnings that have to do with your education with you being super busy with some kind of documents with some kind of courses uh, maybe some of you are taking driving lessons or learning new languages or preparing some kind of documents to submit for something and etc or some of you are uh, attending some kind of course lecture uh, school or meeting with people from your high school middle school and etc or some of you are thinking about buying a car but I would say selling a car would be a bad idea because the next day so the new moon is on 4th tomorrow and the day after that on 5th of August we will have mercury retrograde and guys you are highly influenced by mercury retrograde so do not i already made a whole explanation of mercury retrograde in the beginning of this video so go back and check it out but if you're planning to buy a car do not buy a car unless it's used or it's on a big discount you can do that same goes for everything technology clothing food everything big expensive don't okay now obviously you're extremely ruled, extremely, you're ruled by Mercury. So if you're already noticing glitches, everything's slowing down, do not get ADHD. Just say, blame everything on Mercury retrograde. Trust me, it works. So, where was I? Yeah, Mercury is going retrograde in Virgo. Right, right. Let me see this thing. So Mercury is already in your fourth house. Is it? Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, correct. So Mercury is already in your fourth house of Virgo. And on the 5th of August, it goes retrograde, right? But at the same time, Venus enters your fourth house. So for majority of Geminis, this month is so transformative and it has to do with your place of living with understanding where do you want to settle your roots where do you want to stay do you want to go back to your home country do you want to move in back to to your parents and stay with your uh, mother or you want to build your own family your own roots and new place new location okay and venus is going there with some kind of uh giving you security and support and kind of uh comfort as well and mercury is going to go retrograde so it's going to bring all of these topics back to your life so now maybe you will relocate again maybe now you will apply for new places to live in move into a new place and move out so or maybe you're going to go back to a place that you lived in or you stayed in around july so middle of july where you were you're going to go back to that location and on 15th of august <clears throat> Mercury is going to leave your fourth house. It's going to go to Leo. Um, it's going to go to your third house where you're going to be during this period, either let's say retaking tests, retaking exams, redoing some documents, redoing some papers, preparing some kind of re, everything to do with re, rebuying, reselling. Um, yeah. So this is very important period and it is until 28th of august but since you're a gemini it's gonna last until september like the the shadow period is going to last for you in september this is quite big now it gets even bigger it gets even more dramatic the month where we have venus okay venus opposing saturn that is in your 10th house of career okay so this year is so pivotal for you and i made uh saturn in uh, in pisces video already you can check it out to understand what am i talking about but this month is going to be very much activated venus opposing saturn that is in your 10th house of career of your status and reputation and all of opposing right and all of it is going to like square you so you are going to be in charge of choosing for yourself so it's more like you're not going to be influenced by something to relocate 